SpaceX is preparing for its fourth test flight of the Starship rocket from South Texas, approximately two months after the third flight reached space but was lost upon re-entry. Now, this upcoming test flight represents the fastest turnaround for SpaceX's mega rocket and super heavy booster from its launch site in Boca Chica, Texas, along the south coast of Boca Chica and also the Gulf of Mexico. Now, since April of 2023, SpaceX has been attempting to achieve orbit with the Starship. The third attempt in March saw the Starship make it to space but failed during re-entry. Now, following each test flight, SpaceX undergoes a mishap investigation led by the Federal Aviation Administration and implements necessary changes before the next launch. And the FAA, alongside the NASA and the National Transportation Safety Board, has been conducting a mishap investigation since the March test flight. So the FAA grants SpaceX a modified launch license? The company aims to attempt the fourth test flight of Starship and the Super Heavy booster as soon as June 5th. SpaceX has released its findings from the third test flight and detailed the modifications made to the Starship to attest previous issues. Now, the third flight was the most successful yet. With Starship reaching space and attempting a landing burn for the first time, though both the rocket and the booster were ultimately destroyed before achieving a controlled landing. Now, during the third flight, the Super Heavy booster began its boost back burn for landing, but encountered issues with six Raptor engines when they shut down prematurely. The booster was lost approximately 1,500 feet above the Gulf of Mexico, about seven minutes after launch. Now, SpaceX identified the root cause of the boost back burn shutdown as filter blockages in the liquid oxygen supply for the engines. Well, this led to a loss of inlet pressure in the oxygen turbo pumps, and engineers have since added more hardware inside the oxygen tanks to improve filtration and prevent blockages. Additionally, during the third test flight, Starship reached the coast phase in space and successfully conducted a payload door test, demonstrating propellant transfer by moving fuel from one tank to another. The fuel transfer capability is critical for future missions, including NASA's Artemis program for lunar missions. However, after entering this coast phase, Starship lost its ability to control its position, which led to an unplanned re-entry. Now, the lack of attitude control caused more heating than anticipated, resulting in the vehicle's destruction about 40 miles above Earth, nearly 50 minutes into the flight. And SpaceX tracked the issue with uh, Starship to clogging in the valves responsible for vehicle roll control. And in response, the company has added additional roll control thrusters to provide redundancy and improve reliability during future flights. The FAA's review process was expedited this time because neither the Starship nor the Super Heavy booster was destroyed by the vehicle's automated flight safety system. And during Flight 3, neither vehicle's automated flight safety system was triggered and no vehicle debris impacted outside of predefined hazard zones. Now... Pending the FAA's findings of no public safety impact, a license modification for the next flight can be issued without formal closure of the mishap investigation. SpaceX has conducted a launch dress rehearsal in May and is aiming for a launch as soon as June 5th, providing regulatory approval is received. Now, if the fourth test flight achieves its landing goals, the Starship will launch from Texas and splash down in the Indian Ocean, and SpaceX has also fueled a Starship mega rocket, stepping up preparations for the upcoming test flight. Now, the latest pre-launch operation, known as the wet dress rehearsal, took place on May 28th at SpaceX's Starbase in South Texas. The company loaded large quantities of liquid oxygen and liquid methane into the Starship's first and second stages, known as the Super Heavy and the Starship, or Ship, respectively. Now, Starship and Super Heavy were both loaded with more than 10 million pounds of propellant in a rehearsal ahead of Flight 4. Launch is targeted no earlier than June 5th, pending regulatory approval. This is the second West Dress rehearsal for the Starship vehicle, the first occurring on May 20th. Now, these tests are part of the pre-launch preparations for Starship's fourth flight, which could launch as soon as June 5th. Now, the first three Starship test flights took place in April of 2023, um, this November 2023, and March 14th of this year, and each flight has demonstrated improved performance. The first flight saw the vehicle's two stages fail to separate, ending four minutes after launch. Now, in contrast, the third flight test 
nearly lasted 50 minutes, ending with the starship broke apart during reentry into Earth's atmosphere. Now, the primary goal of the fourth flight, according to SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk, is to get through max reentry heating. That's going to be incredible. And when fully stacked, Starship is about 400 feet tall. It's the largest and most powerful rocket ever designed. It's designed to be fully, rapidly reusable. Now, SpaceX envisions transforming all of spaceflight, potentially enabling Mars settlements and other exploration feats by making them economically feasible. NASA supports this vision, having selected Starship as the first crewed lunar lander for its Artemis moon program. Now, Starship is scheduled to land astronauts for the Artemis program, and it's part of the Artemis 3 mission. However, the vehicle must successfully complete several tests before carrying astronauts into space. This is going to be an amazing flight on June 5th, and hopefully everything's going to go well and they'll be able to land both the booster and successfully get through the atmosphere with the Starship vehicle. Now, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day today to spend it here with me on the Space News Pod. I appreciate all of your support. If you lasted this long, please hit the subscribe and the like button, and I'll tell you why. The subscribe button, very important to not just me, but to you. I get you here, which is really great. But for you, you will see other spaceflight creators in your feed, which is great because you get other voices. You get to see all the spaceflight creators on YouTube if you subscribe to other spaceflight channels like this one. If you leave a comment below, you can just leave a rocket emoji if you want to. Leave any sort of emoji if you want, if you don't have anything actually to talk about. But if you want to talk about this flight, please feel free because I'd like to have a conversation in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Also, I have a podcast. I'm just going to plug this real quick. It's an audio podcast. And if you're not subscribed to that, I'm going to leave a link in the first comment and in the description for the Spotify version of that podcast and also the Apple version too. You get more audio content and you get it more often than you do on this YouTube channel. So I would appreciate it if you went over there took a look at it, hit the follow button on whatever preferred podcast platform that you're on. And I would love to see you over there. That would be great. So again, thank you so much for all of the continued support. I could not do it without you. And what do you think? Do you think it's going to land? I mean, it's going to be a tough one. I think Starship might, I think Starship's going to have a tough time getting through the atmosphere and not burning up. But I think either if it's going to be this flight or the next flight, I think they're going to pull it off. I think they're right there on the cusp. And Elon actually has a uh, an interview with uh, Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, about the heat tiles in a few days. He just tweeted about that. So we're going to see what happens with that. And hopefully everything goes well and we get some heat tile updates from Elon. And hopefully they make it through the atmosphere in this test with the max uh, reentry heat. It's It's scary stuff. It's very scary stuff, but I think they could pull it off. Again, thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.